with one little cheap device we can order on Amazon that costs around twelve or fifteen dollars. We can hook up our fire sticks, other streaming TV devices, video game systems, anything with HDMI output to our Mac computers. And I'm gonna be going through all the steps and all the requirements. So speaking of requirements, first the fire stick itself or whatever you're using, make sure it's hooked up to a power source. You can use the laptop, but I recommend just using a wall outlet. And then the device I mentioned itself, I have a link to it down below in the video description. It varies, like at the time it could be $12, sometimes it'd be around $15. And if you find that the link isn't working, let me know and I'll replace the link for you. But once we have it, so you can pause the video, come back to this video once you have it. I gotta remind you one more time, Whatever you're using, Fire Stick or whatever, make sure it's hooked up to a power source. And from there, we're going to plug what we're using into the capture card. And then plug the capture card into the laptop or the computer into the USB port. Next, we need a program called OBS. You can Google OBS download or just type in obsproject.com. Once we get to the website, there will be some versions at the bottom, Windows, Mac, and Linux, I believe. No one uses Linux, but the Windows version to this video is in the link down below if you wanna know how to do it on Windows. But for Macs, once we select the Mac option, it'll download the file. You should see it at the bottom. Once it finishes downloading, go ahead and select that file. Now we have to install it in the computer to do this. When this window here comes up, just drag the icon into the application folder. You should see a leftover file that we downloaded on your desktop. You can go ahead and, and delete that so we no longer need it. So you can drag and drop it to the trash. Now when you go to your launch pad, you'll see OBS. Or you should see OBS in your launch pad. So let's go ahead and open it up and do the final steps. Remember our streaming device or fire stick should still be hooked up to the computer through the USB port. When you see this window here, you can go ahead and select open. It's just asking you, are you sure? Since they don't recognize the app, since it came from the internet. All right, we're halfway there y'all. So once we first get up OBS, you can go ahead and make it full screen so we can see everything well. At the bottom, there is a plus icon. Select that plus icon for me. That's the add button select video capture device when this window comes up you can rename it if you like to but you don't have to so you can go ahead and select ok once you select ok where it says device drop down and select usb video now we should see a good picture of what we have plugged in if you don't that mean it either doesn't have power or it's not connected to the usb port well and when you get here you can select the corner and drag and drop it to where you need it and when it comes to that middle session hold down the shift key on the keyboard then drag and drop that middle piece to stretch it out to fit the stream this is very important because in the end of this video we're going to make the whole thing full stream so it has to fit the entire stream there so the full stream will be full stream <laughs> all right about three more steps, y'all. So go to the settings on the bottom right-hand corner. Drop down to the audio session. And we're going to look where it says mic slash auxiliary audio. We have to change that to USB digital audio. And we're going to change one more thing on the session. At the bottom where it says advanced, we have to change it to built-in output, then select apply to save the changes. On Neuromatch, you'll see air speakers or something similar to that. Once we have it changed, go ahead and select OK. And then where you see the audio mixer, select the settings widget, and then go to advanced audio properties. And to the right side, we're gonna drop down and change that to monitor and output, and then you can close out. Now we got sound. The only thing left is to make it full stream. So to make it full stream, where you see these gray spaces on my end, click, right click 
anywhere on the gray space you should see some options like this come up from here go to the full string option slide over and select that option that popped out and boom you got full string last step i'm gonna leave you it's not really part of of this method but i just like to add it because it's something useful and that's recording so if you didn't know obs has the option to record and when you do record you will get the audio from whatever you're recording so say if you want to record a movie netflix whatever it this also bypasses the netflix block so they can't block it or anything else similar to that but once you select the record option at the bottom right hand corner and then select stop it'll record i mean not record but it'll save directly to your computer all right that's all i got for y'all much love to each and every one of you i'm your downloading pirate and i'm out